Hi Daily Mix, I'm Fiona or Fiona O'Neill in full and I'm just going to show you today some of my go-to most used beauty products ranging from drugstore to high-end and just some things that I've recently got my hands on that I'm like so excited to use and I'm going to try and edit this the least I possibly can I'm just going to edit out the ums because I realised since I started filming that I say um a lot um 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 it's really 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 not good first thing I'm going to show you is the Brow Bar To Go by Whitening Lightning. Now this is a product that I've seen on YouTube so you probably would have as well. But I saw this through Carly Bell and some other YouTubers that use the same thing. I was like, Whitening Lightning, I'm pretty sure that's a teeth whitening company. And then I was like, oh my god they have beauty products. And this on Carly's eyebrows just looked amazing. I've used them on my eyebrows, you know, for the past month or two since I've, well, for the past month since I, oh, since I had them. I absolutely love this. It stays on all day and it's just really natural and I think compared to a pencil, which can be very harsh, I just think this is such a more natural effect compared to a pencil, so I would always go to powder, so... And like I said, they had different beauty products. I've also got one of their lip glosses, the Colour Your Smile Lighted Lip Gloss. I think this is like the most staple one or the most loved one. And it's in nude and it's just amazing. I thought it was going to be like some lip gloss that whitens your teeth or something. But um, it lights up so... I don't know if you can see, but it's got a mirror on it so you can use it like in the club. It's just so cool. I've actually... I'm wearing this on top of my lipstick today and I absolutely love it. So a mascara that I've been loving this month is called L'Oreal False Lash Flutter. So this is a drugstore mascara. I've had so many compliments on my Instagram and everything and from people about my eyelashes and what mascara I'm using and I've used this one. It's amazing. It's just, it is absolutely amazing and I go for the uh, lengthen and separate look. I don't go for the volume so much I just like them natural looking but quite dark so you know long black separated lashes and this 100% gives them to you and it just makes your lashes look like you know fake ones they make them look so long and I absolutely love this so I want to tell you about this foundation that I absolutely love and I'm on the third bottle of it which is the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magic Eau de Tint now I've probably just completely destroyed that language but I I still don't know to this day how to actually pronounce this but this is an amazing day-to-day -day, everyday use foundation I don't wear this going out because I, I feel like it's more natural but I just like to like wear more expensive products when I go out just to make me feel better I'm in 150 beige or nude beige it's got SPF 18 in it so it's another reason why you wouldn't wear it out because it could possibly give you a white cast in flash photography. I have oily combination skin. I get an oily T-zone, oily chin and round here and this 100% holds up and I don't need to be constantly reapplying powder. And when you reapply powder it just makes matters 10 times worse. Then it oxidizes and then you go orange and then oily and then it's just a big hot mess. But this stays on all day love it okay so I've got three MAC lipsticks that I've been loving so much first one which I think is an absolute staple every girl every makeup lover must have this it is the beloved Russian red matte MAC lipstick this was my first MAC lipstick and oh, it was the one that I heard raved about most and the re re the re re woo so I have like such a weird mouth I can't say words properly but the re re ru woo <laughs> The Ri Ri Woo is more bright and this one is more dark and has more of a bluey undertone but it's absolutely gorgeous. The, the finish is just amazing and it lasts all night which is what you want really. When I go out and when I wear a red lip I don't need to worry about constantly reapplying. You don't need to which is great. It doesn't dry out your lips obviously when, when you've got a matte lipstick you've got to worry about that but this one doesn't smells creamy and buttery it's just gorgeous and if you're gonna get a mac lipstick and you just start your collection start with this another one that i've got is a cream sheen and it's called cream in your coffee or creme i think it's cream but it's, it's spelled creme it's a gorgeous nude color i saw this on tanya burr on her you know favorite mac lipsticks video and because i wanted a more of a neutral color because i just wanted a neutral color from mac and 
this looked gorgeous on her and I was just like I need to get my hands on this and I just love the name how cute is cream in your coffee that's just so cute again it has the same smell as all the other MAC lipsticks pretty much it's a gorgeous finish and it, it's obviously it's not matte so it doesn't last as long as a matte lipstick but it is very long lasting it's a very neutral colour so it goes with a lot of things well the MAC and then another one which is very wow in your face bright and it's also another cream sheen and it is cream sheen lickable this is a bright pop barbie pink it's absolutely gorgeous this color is so gorgeous like i absolutely love it it's so shiny so pigmented like it's crazy opaque it smells the same as all the other mac lipsticks it's just absolutely wonderful another thing that i've been loving since I've been doing some of my family members makeup lately, I don't tend to use loads of brand name blushes, um, but I got my hands on this palette, it was like 4 99 or something, from um, eBay. Look at them gorgeous colours. It reminded me of BH Cosmetics. 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 There we go. The mixture of colours in there. And the highlights as well. Uh, some of these colours won't show up on my skin, but they work really well as a highlight. But they're absolutely gorgeous, love them, and really, really, really affordable and really pigmented and opaque for how much it is. So, bargain. Next thing that I absolutely love um, is a MAC foundation, which is the Studio Sculpt. This is what I wear when I go out, so compared to the L'Oreal, this one's just a little bit more thicker. And whenever I use MAC, I just feel like, oh. It's got SPF 15 in it, and it's an, I'm an NC30. It doesn't give you a white cast, um, it does look slightly brighter against your skin but I think it just makes your, your skin looks more glowing to be honest instead of a white cast. MAC, MAC foundation is not going to lie, they do kind of smell like paint but I'm not one to go against smells, I mean if it looks good then I'll just put up with it. If it smells like straight up dog poo, well then yeah. I don't really want that on my face. This one's quite bearable and it goes away when you blend it in anyway. And I especially love it because it's great for oily combination skin or oily skin. This has worked really well with my skin and doesn't look too thick so it doesn't look cakey. I always use this when I go out and it doesn't budge, it doesn't oxidise, it doesn't come off. You know if I have my hand on my face it doesn't come off. It just looks flawless in pictures whether my skin is flawless or not, which is definitely not. A few of the things that I got recently that I've been done to try are some products from the company NARS. Ah. When I got this in the post I was just like hallelujah. I don't know it makes me feel like special when I get like expensive makeup. And I bought this for my own money that's what makes it good because I've earned that. I got the NARS adult content palette. I'm going to explain why because I didn't just buy it because I thought it was amazing because it is amazing but there's a reason. It's so beautiful so beautiful. So the reason why I got this one in particular and not just a random blush is because there's more than one use in this palette. There's a blush, there's another blush, there's a contour and there's a highlight. There's three different uses in one palette. For £30 there was also another palette with just a blush for £30. So I think, to be honest, this is more, you know, this is worth the money because NARS is not cheap it's expensive but I think this is just amazing and it's just gorgeous this is also the deep throat not orgasm and deep throat are one of the most raved about I think blushes from NARS don't know what the hell they were thinking about the names because to be honest it makes me feel very uncomfortable talking about it but and it's also limited so it just made me want it even more I was at the checkout and it said there's a little code for a discount now I don't know about you but as a girl Many times I haven't had a code, but I've tried to find one. I've googled the website like Topshop codes, promotional codes, ASOS, just trying to be sneaky and trying to find a code. And I typed in NARS discount codes and came up with this page and there was one, it's a 95% success. And it said to come with like a free sample, entered it in and accepted it and I got a free, I got an illuminator. But I mean, this is, if I hadn't searched this, I wouldn't have got this. But this is the NARS orgasm illuminator is a little sample size and to be honest I think this is great for me because I might not like this and I don't particularly like the glowy look because I like matte and because I have oily skin like glowing and oily just makes greasy on me I can't wait to use this during the summer just on the high points of my cheekbones just to make you that glow and it's just gorgeous and yeah so 
if you want to be like me and be sneaky, you might get some free products in there. I mean, why not? Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is the beloved Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. I've only just used this this morning. I used it on my eyes today. It is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely different to the Naked 2 and the Naked 1. All rosy gold colours and they're just absolutely stunning. I love Trick. Trick is my favourite shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's like a very pigmented gold. And I've got the Naked 2 here. I don't have the Naked 1 yet. <laughs> But um, a lot of people say just don't bother with a naked one because they're very similar, but I mean, I need to get it one time. You can definitely tell that there's a huge difference between the shades, <laughs> like a huge difference. So if you, do, if you only have the naked one or the naked two, the naked three definitely is a need instead of a want because they are very different. Smoky eyes with this one and more muted down smoky eyes with this one. Just absolutely gorgeous shades, a must have. I use this since I had it like every time I went out. It's just absolutely amazing and gorgeous. Okay, so that is everything I want to show you. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a beautiful day and yeah, bye. And when you, when you reapply powder and when you, re <laughs>